breaking news, Dr. Drew. So Charlie, the little boy, his stepmother was just arrested on unrelated weapons charges. Also, Child Protective Services have removed two other kids from the home, ages two and four. They are the biological children of Charlie's father and his stepmother. And also, little Charlie has spoken with the police as well as child psychologists. And he may be speaking with the police again as early as tomorrow morning. And as we said, Nancy Grace did another interview with the dad tonight. I want you to see what he told her. Take a look. Can you just tell me whether you have seen little Charlie yet? I, um, uh, I have not. I know that's got to be breaking your heart. Why won't police let you see the boy? Where is he? Um, and you know, I'm, I'm breaking in no comment rule, but I was briefly on the phone with him when he called my mother and I, I, I need to go now. Police told CNN that Charlie's dad is not allowed to have contact with him during the investigation. Michelle, does that mean anything to you? Well, it, it, you know, this whole story is just so bizarre because authorities went and looked around the house. They, they investigated it and they did it multiple times they on different dogs days. And they did it too. Yes, and they didn't see this boy. I mean, the good thing is that he's alive, he's healthy. Now the next step is figuring out who knew he was there and why was he there. Well, that's the big, that's what we're all scratching our head about. And that's why everyone is jumping to all sorts of conclusions, which is what, I mean, how do we make sense of this thing? The kid is in a basement and boarded up in a room or behind a barrel. The dad seems to know nothing about it and is desperate to find out what is wrong with this child. The whole thing goes down on television. I mean, he, if, if in a case like this, if an adult were definitely found to have been involved with helping the child lock himself in that room or in the basement for some reason, then we'll, I assume we'll figure out what kind of charges would the adult face. Well, definitely that's going to be some type of child abuse, child neglect charges, Dr. Drew. But right now, I think I'm just focused on the child, and thank goodness he was found. He's okay. And I agree there are a lot of unanswered questions at this point in time, but we need to just wait and let the facts play out. The father has not been charged with anything yet. The police have not arrested him. But I can say if I was his attorney, Dr. Drew, I would tell him to keep his mouth shut. Why do we see this yeah. with, with individuals that are potential suspects in cases? There's no no reason he should be talking to the media, to Nancy Grace, to anybody, because all that does is just give the media, you know, fuel to speculate and ammunition to go and well, convict him. Well, but maybe in this case he's not, he's not been accused, he's not been, you know, not, no one's pointing a finger he's at a, him. He's so. a potential suspect, though, and you know how frustrated as a but defense attorney apparently, apparently he's not. Apparently he's not a potential right. suspect, though well, he is yet. lawyered up, and I, guess lawyers, and I guess lawyers always say the same thing, which is shut up, no matter exactly. what. Well, no matter exactly. Well, exactly. He's the father, right. Exactly. Let us speak on your behalf. You guys get to do all the talking. And Ev I love to talk. Evie, <laughs> Evie, the dad took a polygraph that apparently was inconclusive, and the mom refused to take it. Does that tell you anything? I'll tell you this. I used to give polygraphs. They can come up inconclusive. It doesn't mean somebody's guilty. It doesn't mean somebody's innocent. It's just the way it happens sometimes. Somebody can be extremely nervous or agitated or it could be the examiner themselves. The mother not taking a polygraph, could that be a sign of deception? Possibly, but there are some people who are just smart and they say, you know what, no, I don't want to take a polygraph. I'd rather not. And I'm, I think that's okay too. 